Top of the hour to everyone, in today's video I'm going to be talking about three things that happened in the ocean, or ocean YouTubers, or anything ocean related. Yeah, that was an awkward intro. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Well, this is not big ocean news, I want to bring it up. YouTuber Deep Sea Oddities, a really good YouTuber in the ocean community, has kind of changed his content style. Well, not actually, but he may be changing it. You see, in a comment I left on his latest video, and by the way, thank you for replying, Deep Sea Oddities. It's nice to interact with the ocean community. He left this comment. That's literally the idea. You guys seem to like the snailfish video recently, and I was starting to think anyway that there was needs to be other stuff between the countdowns, which have been the most popular format for a while, but admittedly get repetitive. At the end of the day, I just want to make what subscribers want the most, and if that's more of these single creature videos. With a bigger emphasis on facts slash information, I'll be happy to make many more of them. Thanks for watching. I also forgot to mention the smiley face at the end there. He started doing his top 10, top 9, top 7 lists around 2 years ago I would say. Which like he said do attract more views but yeah. He just wants to do the best for his audience and I really respect that. And no I am not saying this oh just to get a shout out because I know I'm not gonna get that anyway. I just saw that he may change his content style and wanted to do an ocean news video on it. Deep Sea Oddities is kind of an inspiration to me. Is that weird to say? I don't know. And he's not like those videos, oh, top 10 scariest creatures caught on camera and then everything's fake. He's been doing ocean stuff like this for 8 years. Like, most YouTubers would have stopped after 8 years. Unless they get like 1 million subscribers, but Deep Sea Oddities just keeps on pumping the videos out and they're good quality as well. So thank you Deep Sea Oddities for being an inspiration to my channel. Is that weird to say? I don't know. Anyways, a bunch of new sea creature species have been found and this is very exciting news for me. Let's go over them one by one. These spiky little like anemone things. We I don't have the name for them yet. I'm just gonna call it the soft spiked tunicate. I hope that name catches on because I've always wanted to name a sea creature. Anyways, by the way, I'm giving them all my own names. Please make them catch on, please. The small spined shrimp. Which, those eyes are just adorable. And I think they found this in a deep sea, so this is actually a surprisingly beautiful sight to see down there. Unless it was found in a coral reef, but I don't think so considering the background of it. Yeah, I didn't do much research on this. And finally, this red either handfish, frogfish, or coffinfish. They're nicknaming it the walking fish, but that's not really special because frogfish and especially handfish do that all the time. Now on to some news I am very late to that happened on the 22nd of February. A ship in China crashed into a bridge which made a chain reaction of the bridge breaking and a school bus and a couple of cars landed on the ship. And so far five people have died. I'm sick of hearing about death on the news. Let's go on to gaming news in the studio. Thank you! In today's news, Endless Ocean Luminous, which is a sequel, is coming out tomorrow on the Nintendo Switch. And I think the game's plot about mythical and prehistoric fishes that you get to see. Basically Subnautica, but with some real creatures that existed. And also no survival aspect. I wanted to do a game like this myself with three modes. Normal mode where there's real creatures, Mythical mode where there's mythical creatures, and another mode where there's extinct creatures. I thought of this before I even knew the game existed. And no, I'm not saying mine was the original because I didn't say it out publicly. But since I obviously lack making game skills, um, yeah, I couldn't really make it. If a game studio wants to hear my idea, well, be my guest. Even though this video will only get free views. And I am a bit disappointed that this game hasn't come out on bloody Xbox and it's only on Nintendo Switch. We can't get any ocean games on Xbox. The only ones I've played is Subnautica 1 and 2 and Beyond Blue. Please release Iron Lung and this game on Xbox, please. Okay, peace.